You can see our work at all of the leading technology companies that are doing cutting edge research. Companies like Google, SpaceX, Meta, Apple. And we're so proud that our work that comes out of here, this factory in Torrance, is able to support you know, work that they're doing at those organizations. This is Aravant, an engineering and manufacturing firm whose products further the research and development plus product development of companies working on some of the world's most innovative technology. Aravant engineers manufacture hardware for millimeter wave applications. Its products are tools and building blocks that engineers and scientists can use as they try to unlock the potential of working at extremely high frequencies. The applications in these frequencies really have enormous economic and social impacts now and into the future. Some of the applications are things like radar and communications for aerospace and defense. You have medical imaging and using sub-terahertz frequencies to detect cancers and tumors and things like that. Another one is security. We all know about the body scanners, that's millimeter wave. It can get even more advanced than that so that, for example, we could even start bringing water back onto planes because the imaging technology is going to be so much more sophisticated. And then of course when it comes to national security and supporting our war fighters, a lot of those systems are being upgraded into higher frequencies. And then the future, which is IoT, where all these devices are connected together, autonomous vehicles, smart cities, earth monitoring, and then of course 5 and 6G for expanded communications. And then a big part of our business is actually supporting test instrumentation. So those are creating the tools that anybody working in these frequencies need in order to do the work that they're doing. With more than a dozen different departments under one roof, about 60 employees work together to design and service the customer and ultimately ship, build, and fulfill the contracts. Part of Aravon's success story is that it was the first company of its kind to standardize millimeter wave components, put all of that on a digital platform where customers could see what they wanted, and then get those parts delivered in weeks or even days. In the course of our work, we have access to private information about the roadmap of technology. And that's really one of the coolest things about being in our space because we get to see what's ahead and what's coming before it actually hits the general consumer. I remember that when we were talking about 5G, millimeter wave 5G was something we were working on already in 2017. And today, what's deployed to the average person is still sub six gigahertz 5G. It's not even millimeter wave 5G. So that's still yet to come. Right now, we're already working on 6G applications. Walking through this 60,000 square foot facility, it is apparent that there is innovation in every corner. It's a space that was built with its team in mind. Within these walls, the company has traditional roles in place, such as operations, sales and marketing. But Wendy says the heart of the company is in engineering and manufacturing. It was important to us, first of all, when we thought about it, that we created a space that was great for our team. So you see a lot of natural light here, that's intentional. You'll see that we have a lot of spaces for gathering so that people can come together and collaborate. It's designed as an agile space so that you can do different types of work in different parts of the business. There is a certain certain flow to the organization for efficiency and that each of the segments of the business are clearly marked. But there is a lot of synergy and a porousness in the boundaries because there's a lot of collaboration that's needed. But it's not all work and no play. Once a month, the company does happy hour with beers on tap and food. There is even a complimentary coffee bar on site, plus a basketball court out back. Xu says this company began with a vision her father had in China decades ago. He started a company in Torrance back in 2011 called Sage Millimeter. Wendy was invited to be a co-owner the following year and the company rebranded as Aravant in 2020. Through it all, she says the city has always played a big part. Our family, we were Torrance residents for a very long time. I grew up in Torrance after we moved over from the Midwest. His first company was located in Torrance, a tiny space on Koshua Street. And when he started the business again, that's where they started again, same address. And then this time around, because we found this commercial application and this excitement around these higher frequencies, we have been able to grow and 
find a space like this to fill into. The reason why we came to Torrance was because of the aerospace industry. And in general, the South Bay is amazing for that. It's one reason why you find so many hardware companies here, I think, because you have that heritage of aerospace and defense here. Wendy is a part of the city's technology committee, which led to her forming a partnership with a like-minded business in the city. The company in Torrance that uses our technology is Stellant. You might also know them as L3 Harris. We supply L3 Harris or Stellant with microwave technology and hardware. Not only do we sell our hardware to Stellant, but we're also partnering with them and the South Bay Workforce Investment Board on creating apprenticeship programs for RF technicians and RF assemblers. These are you know, skills that are really, really hard to recruit in, so it's, again, amazing to see uh, you know, partnership with government and nonprofit to you know, solve these really, really tough problems. And another relationship helps bring together two worlds that might not otherwise get connected. One local organization that we support and have a partnership with is the Torrance Cultural Arts Foundation. Wendy is a big supporter of the arts and has brought that love to her company. In return, Toka provides Wendy with complimentary tickets for her staff. We raffle off tickets every single month to our staff so that they can attend live performing arts at the Civic Center. And what's amazing about that is maybe somebody had never really experienced the arts and this is their first time. Another cool thing about that is that they might sit next to a colleague that they otherwise wouldn't work with and have an evening out with a team member. You don't need to come to Torrance just to work and then leave to live. We wanted to support organizations that were about that kind of live piece of being in the city and so we've been able to support them and also bring them into our business. Our relationship with Aravant really comes from our relationship with Wendy Shu, who is our board president and has been on the board for a number of years. Wendy has been instrumental in sort of guiding Toka into a new way of working, looking at our audience. She really gets the fact that the arts are important to the city as well as her organization. She danced in Dancing with the South Bay Stars and placed, I think it was second. She is truly an advocate for the arts and the arts are what really brings a life to the community. Shu is at the helm of one of the most important engineering and manufacturing firms in the business, but she says she still has pinch me moments. Sometimes I can't believe that we get to do what we do, right? And that we have the impact and the far reach that we have. The clients that we are supporting, the professors, the researchers, the scientists who we get to meet, these people are rock stars in their industries and they're across the table from us. They're in our inboxes. And so sometimes I can't believe that we're doing that from this space.